observed the parliament building. Parliament has two floors where two different assemblies function. One of them is called the upper house or the Rajya Sabha and the other is the lower house or the Lok Sabha. The Lok Sabha has 545 members and the Rajya Sabha has 245 members. Members of the Lok Sabha are elected directly by the people of their constituency. All these members represent their own constituency for a period of five years. In other words, they have a tenure of five years. Now, what is a constituency? A constituency is a geographical area or electoral district represented by a member of the parliament. Can administrative divisions or districts be considered as constituencies? Are they the same? No, they're not. Constituencies can be bigger or smaller than administrative divisions like districts or cities. In other words, a bunch of districts can also form constituencies. For example, Udupi and Chikmagalur are separate districts, but they elect just one member of parliament. The MP is directly elected by the people. Since people elect a member of parliament by casting their own vote, we call this election a direct election. Direct elections from all constituencies lead to the election of all MPs. From these elected members, at least half of the MPs should get together and form the central government. They should choose a leader of the central government. Who is the leader of the central government? The Prime Minister, of course. The Prime Minister chooses his ministers from the pool of parliamentarians. Setting up the central government is the main task of the Lok Sabha. On the other hand, the members of the Rajya Sabha are elected by the members of the Legislative Assembly of States. In other words, citizens don't elect members of the Rajya Sabha directly. Therefore, we call such an election an indirect election. Members of Rajya Sabha represent their states in parliament for a period of six years. In other words, they have a tenure of six years. Of course, elections are conducted to fill up all the seats in parliament. That is the key feature of our democracy. Does this system ensure that people from all communities are represented in parliament? Yes. A diverse country like India needs to ensure that we elect members from weaker sections of society as well. Their opinions have to be heard in Parliament. So, we have reserved some of the seats in Parliament for members of scheduled castes and scheduled tribes. Having the idea of democratic elections is one thing. But conducting the election in a vast and populous country like India can be a big challenge. So, who conducts the Lok Sabha elections in India? In India, we have an election commission. The election commission is the body that conducts elections to the Lok Sabha, Rajya Sabha and the legislative assemblies in India. Having a body to conduct elections is one thing. But how do we conduct parliament? Can we call the election commission to come and conduct the parliament? No, 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 no. Obviously, no. 
once parliamentarians are elected, they should be allowed to handle their own affairs.